What's up guys, Jake Hunt from Fitness Culture. Today we're gonna to be going over the banded speed bench press. So it's gonna be kind of a tutorial on number one, how to set up, what your bar pass should be, what it should look like, why the bands are good, and then we'll go over a few variations that we like to use in the Fitness Culture training app at the end of the video. So let's get into it. All right guys, so there's a few reasons that the bands are great uh, for speed bench. So one of them is gonna be obviously accommodating resistance. Typically, you're gonna be weaker at the chest and a lot stronger in your lockout, right? So the bands are gonna be lighter to the chest and as you lock the weight out, it's gonna get heavier. And what that's gonna allow you to do is drive all the way through that weight. And that's really the biggest reason that we love using the bands. So they allow you to drive all the way through the weight um, because if you didn't have the bands, you're naturally gonna have to decelerate the weight to stop at the top to get back into your next rep, right? So you're still gonna have to a little bit with the bands, it's just how it's gonna be, but the bands, allow you to decelerate less and it's gonna pull you right back into that next rep. So Brennan's gonna show you kind of what we're talking about here. So obviously we're using an empty bar here. So even if he just does one rep and he does it as fast as he can and accelerates all the way through the bar, just notice how his chest is gonna come off the, the, the bench a little bit. Come on, accelerate all the way through the bar. See that? See? So if you have, <laughs> that was a little exaggerated, but obviously you're gonna come off the bench. Uh, if you're doing three reps, then you start getting all over the place. If you actually, so Brennan's gonna show you, he's gonna go, Drive through the bar, three reps, let's go, fast as possible. Yeah. So you get to the, you're gonna get to the point, go ahead and rack it. You're gonna get to the point at some point um, during your speed bench where you're getting good enough, moving that weight fast, but you're gonna need bands because, um, or you're gonna have to decelerate a lot, right? So there, a lot of the time you'll see guys almost pulling themselves and that's gonna raise them off the bench even more because they're driving that bar up and then you'll notice like guys on the 225 bench press test uh, like in the combine, the guys that are racking out the most, they're gonna be coming off the bench just a little bit because they're pulling themselves into that next rep, right? And so that's what we don't wanna do on speed bench. We wanna allow ourselves to drive all the way through to the lock, to lock out and then just drop back down to the next rep. So that's where, where the bands come in handy so much. So now we're gonna show you guys kind of how we like to set up the bands and how we like to set up our bar path for the bands. All right guys, so the most common mistake that I see people make on the band bench. So we have the, the pins here. We'll show you how to set it up if you don't have the pins. But the biggest thing is, whoever's bench pressing, you wanna make sure that you're setting the bands up right down their bar path to, the, to their chest, right? So if you're touching here, you wanna like, basically we set Brennan up, see right where he's touching that bar, and that's where you wanna set the bottom part of the band. So you're gonna have a little bit of an angle from that bar out to the band. So when he unracks the bar, it's gonna be straight up and down, straight down his bar path when he's bench pressing. Um, if, you, if you're setting it up, I see a lot of people setting up in the wrong direction. It's gonna pull you all over the place, right? So it's gonna pull you towards the rack or pull you towards your waist. It's really dangerous um, and you're not gonna be as efficient that way. So on the speed bench, the biggest thing is make sure you're setting it up right down your bar path. All right guys, if you don't, if you don't have the pins, and I didn't have pins for most of my life when I was speed benching, um, what you're gonna do is I just grab two dumbbells. I grab the heaviest dumbbell that I can. Well, not that I can, but a heavy enough dumbbell that it's gonna hold your band in place. And then what you're gonna do is just slide it up to the bar. I grab the other dumbbell and slide it in position to stop this dumbbell from rolling in. So it just blocks this dumbbell here. So it's nice and tight. And then you can still at the same time, it's even easier this way. You can just adjust it depending who's lifting to make sure it's right down their bar path during every lift. All right, next thing you need to think about on the speed bench is your bar path. So if you're not pushing the bar in a straight line, for me on any bench press, I'm gonna push the bar in a straight line. I know there's a lot of strong guys out there I tell people to press to their face or towards the rack. I press straight up and down. So I try to squeeze my shoulder blades down into a good position, externally rotate, almost think about breaking the bar in half. And from there, I'm just straight up and down. Even when I'm maxing out, I'm just going as heavy as possible. But on the speed, on the speed bench, um, you're definitely gonna wanna keep that straight bar path. Because if you don't, especially with the bands, those bands are gonna be pulling you all over the place. Because if you're trying to go to the rack and come back down to the next rep, you're gonna be all over the place. So you wanna make sure you unrack it you find that groove right where you're gonna hit it on your chest and you're going straight up and down every time. All right, now I'm gonna show you four variations that we like to use, kind of a progression to get people um, kind of to the highest level of variation that we're gonna use in the app. So the, the last thing we're gonna go over is three reps as fast as possible on the speed bench. Uh, the first one that we're gonna do though, because when people start with the bands, um, even today, especially if you don't have a lot of weight on, sometimes it'll just be all over the place, right, with the bands. So the first one that we usually have people do is it's a controlled eccentric pause at the chest and explode up as fast as possible. And the key here is to make sure that you're moving the weight very, very fast. So if you're not moving it fast, then you're not getting the stimulus that we're trying to get out of this workout. So I'll demonstrate the first one real quick. You want to set up, unrack the weight, control it down to the chest, 
and then explode up as fast as possible. All right, the next part of our progression is gonna be after we've done the pause rep, people are comfortable with that, then we're gonna move on to a half or a quarter rep. Basically, you're gonna drop and explode up through it. So on the eccentric, let's say I'm gonna be going down halfway, I'm just gonna drop and then explode up. So under control. So instead of pushing our athletes into going from the top right off the bat, meaning being locked out and quick eccentric and trying to overcome it, we're gonna control it a little bit, drop on that last quarter or halfway through and then explode back up. So it's gonna look like this. You're gonna set up, you're gonna control it and drop at the bottom, explode up. Control, up. All right, so after that short eccentric explosive rep, we're gonna go just all the way from the top. So getting our athletes used to just going from lockout, dropping down with a quick eccentric and overcoming that and exploding all the way through. So we're just gonna do one rep at a time for three reps. So we're just lock it out. All right, and the last thing we usually move people into is gonna be just three reps for time. So three reps as fast as possible. Um, usually what we'll do is just time each other on this one. And so the way we set it up on these reps, you really only wanna be, some people get up to moving a decent percentage of their one rep max. You really wanna be around 30 to 50%, somewhere in that range. Um, but what we usually do is start on the lower end of the range and then we'll work it up until we can't get three reps in under three seconds. And so it's gonna look like this. All right, so like I said, um, on this last variation, again, we're trying to do it under three seconds, three reps under three seconds. Obviously it's gonna be a little bit different depending on your arm length. So if you're a really long arm guy, then you might wanna give yourself a little bit above that three second time cap. But the way we set it up again is gonna be something that you know you can get really fast, move really fast, but still in that 30 to 40% range at least. And then every set, if as long as you're moving it fast, we're gonna keep upping the weight until you can't hit those three reps in under three seconds. All right guys, that wraps it up for today for our quick tutorial on how to use bands to speed bench. Um, down below you can click and we'll give you a full week kind of how we program it in the power program in the fitness culture app because that's typically where we use speed bench the most. We use it in all of our programs, but the power program, we typically do it every week. So you can click the link, check that out if you wanna check out a full week. Um, I hope you guys learned something from today. If there's anything else you want me to cover, please leave me a comment in the description and please like and subscribe. Thank you.